thing. Hmm. You saw us go around and get some of that iron ore and stuff. I don't have enough right now. I don't. Do you have, do you have enough iron ore to actually like refine? Um, good question. I have eight. Can you give me two? I literally have to go to the bank. No, no, never mind, never mind. No, it's not worth it. Okay, so basically, you refine this stuff here. You grab it, and you put it right there, and you need at least ten, and it will pop up saying you get different gems, or different uh, types of honing stones, or the actual iron ignit. And these just allow you to basically upgrade everything you make via blacksmithing. Your creation tab, you can create whatever iron weapons there are. As you can see the list there. And you can go ahead and add more iron in to make higher level items. Iron only goes up to level 14. You need the style, you need to learn different styles. You always know the style of the, of the race you choose. So I'm a red guard, so I know star metal. I haven't learned any other. Probably not gonna. Traits. Traits are things you have to research. And there's a hmm. weapon and armor tab. Same basic things, you know. As traits you see are here. things that take many hours to research. Exactly. Traits take forever and they require a special ingredient. So you gotta get the special ingredient and you have to have researched whatever it's gonna be. And I'll do a research right now because I can't. Oh, no, I can't. This is still researching. For another 12 hours and 30 minutes. So, yeah. I've already done three researches on swords, so when you go ahead and get a weapon with the specific trait that you're looking for, one of these, you can bring it back, basically use the item, and it gets rid of the weapon, and it teaches you how to add that trait onto your weapons and armor. As you see, it takes a long time. After you get up past the first one, which is 6, then 12, then 24, then 48, and so on and so forth. The last one takes how long? Go look. Um, last one is 32 days, unless you uh, put some points into whatever craft you have. 32 days. <sighs> My god. Yep. Again, that's both crafting armor and weapons. Uh, you can research. Improvements are the things that uh, I tried to do when Grolug gave me a new sword today and broke it. Or no, the helm. It was a helm. <laughs> Bastard. You get these things, like uh, the first to bring it from a white to a green. You need honing stones. To bring it from a green to a blue, you need dwarven oil. So on and so forth. All of the craftings have similar stuff. You ju they're just different items. Um... Actually, I don't really need to show anything else as far as crafting goes, because this is basically the gist for everything. It all follows the Enchanting same Enchanting is a little different. And that. And de deconstruction. I'll do this. An axe I don't really need. I can go ahead and... Oh, I need four inventory slots open so I can deconstruct that? What? Yeah, deconstruct it gives you materials back. Oh, I'm going into your inventory of... Interrupts any emote you're doing, such as playing the loop. That's stupid. I'm just selling them. Which is why I'm starting the song over, and it's a different song. Damn it. Oh, I got a two handed flame staff that requires a rank 7 in PvP. Yeah, only two days longer than one month sub, yeah. <laughs> But you can put three points, I think, in uh, a thing that increases research time, so it's like 15% off. And it also allows you to research multiple things at the same time. So ultimately, it speeds it up a lot, but when you do things such as blacksmithing... I don't need that. I don't need that. Yes, you do. You need skill points. It's Luckily, nice. you get a lot of free skill points. Like, I end up actually running out of things to put skill points into and then I just end up putting it into crafting. Oh yeah, my skill points. Oops. Whatever, whatever. Let's see, when you gain a level you get skill points. Three sky shards gives you a skill point. Completing a dungeon for the first time gives you a skill point. Uh, I uh, be selling those. Oh well, Certain whatever. achievements give you skill points. Certain quest lines give you skill points. Every PvP rank gained gives you a skill point. 
So there are enough ways so that you will have extra skill points. Some people choose to say level up a bow, you know, like they have this, because uh, you can hit the tilde and switch your weapon sets, so a lot of people do that. I put it in crafting just because I want to be able to make badass weapons. I'm selling so much crap. I want to buy that back. Oh, I'm less sliver away from level. Okay, so that's that's crafting. Let me go show you enchanting real quick. That's a good idea. Yes, you need skill points to do it, to shorten it. Okay, as you can see, you have three different places for runes. You have potency runes, essence runes, and aspect runes. All of these uh, do basically a different thing. Like, I've translated most of these, so like you get a superior rune, or you'll get just the basic runes, and I can't even use these yet, so we'll find out what they do later. Uh, let's see if it's all trial and error, really. Yeah, I haven't translated it yet. So we'll try that one. All of those I know. Uh, we'll try to do. We'll do. What do we reduce? Because I have the most of them. And then for the base, we'll do ta, which is a basic ta. A uh, basic. It's basically gonna make it white. If I use the Donata, it make it green or blue, depending on the strength of the other two rooms. So. Craft. So Oko These is help. So we know that. Hey, I just increased it to eight. Yay! So now I can hit X. And now that I actually have stuff known, I can throw anything else, say, randomly in there. And because I have them translated, it will actually tell what it's going to make which is really really nice a lot of guesswork a lot of mixing and matching and a lot of uh, basically just guesswork until you have enough to know everything which is just takes time and lots of gathering You can also extract runes. You get random ones after you, as you extract them. So I'm just going to extract all of these, and they'll pop up here and tell me what I get. My health. Jera, which I think is reduce. Katari, don't know what that is off the top of my head. Akoma. As you see, the circular ones, the bases. Hardest ones to get. Ha, ah, I just got one actually. And you see that actually breaking them down does gain me a little bit in my level, albeit they much they would have to be actual like enchantments of my level to actually give me the most experience for breaking it down. And yeah, I think that's it. What do you think, Rolug? I think White Oak is right. I was just trying to type, actually. Google certainly does work for finding out uh, what does what. Yes, Google search works out very well. Honestly, I, I mean, we could. you saw us get sky shards and stuff. Honestly, Google it. You'll be able to find the map for where they all are and all that stuff, and the guides are already out there. Use them to help you. It's pretty much what everyone else does anyway, so. Unless you really like the exploration of it. 
taste their own. 